Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nidia J, and today's video is about Profusion Cosmetics products. I've already featured Profusion before on my YouTube channel, and I'll leave a link to the video down below. I was testing out a couple of new products on Profusion. Now, Profusion have reached out to me and have sent me this really generous box of goodies. And so we're going to be using a lot of the products in here to create a fall autumn inspired look. So if you want to know a bit more about Profusion Cosmetics and if you want to see me create a fall autumn look then keep on watching. Quickly go through the contents of the box before we get into the tutorial. So in the box comes this Profusion booklet and it just basically talks about all their products gives you a little bit more information about their products I see it more as a catalog of their products so you get information about brows about the highlights about their pro palettes and stuff like that some of the products I do have in this box so I'll be showing you guys and telling you what it is so the first item I've got is their pro conceal contour book and it says it's got 19 um, it's a 19 piece professional conceal and contour kit. I have taken pictures of it so hence why some of the packaging has been broken. Um, basically in there you get cream products, you get concealer products, you get corrector products and then you've got the contour, powder products, highlight products on this side which I think it's absolutely stunning. You've got a deep contour shade, which I'm really curious to see if it's going to show up on my skin tone. And you've got a medium shade. You've got a light shade for contour. And then you've got an array of highlights to play with. That orange color corrector looks really, really good, and I can't wait to try it out. But you also get the cream correctors and concealers on that side so and um, contour cream so I'm definitely going to be using that in the video so this one is the pro face and pro face is a 32 piece professional face kit I've done swatches so it might look a bit um, banged up and just reading from the booklet it contains matte satin shimmer eyeshadows highlighters on this side blushes bronzers brow products run across the top of this section and it's quite a handy um facebook so you've got your <laughs> facebook you've got your blushes you've got your highlights you've got your um bronzers you've got your eyeshadow you've got your brow products all in one book so if you're like me and you do travel a lot i guess this is you know going to be a good product and also if you're a makeup artist this will be handy for you help lighten your kit so I'm definitely intrigued to see how this works today I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this palette or the one I'm going to show you guys next so the eyeshadow palette I have is a naturals eyeshadow palette and it comes with a two-sided brush so one is a blending brush and then one is a packing brush so I've used a packing brush to do some swatches and the colors range from really really light neutral you've got a few pops of kind of autumn fall inspired colors you've got your dark shades here as well I think it's a really really pretty versatile palette and um, if you're someone that really likes neutral looks or you like a pop of color you know you just like to keep it warm and you like autumn fall vibes to come through your makeup then this palette is definitely for you I did swatch this these shadows yesterday and they felt really really soft which is brilliant and they did show up pretty darn well in the swatches and as you guys know I don't use primer when I swatch because I really want to let the eyeshadow shine without any support so yeah I'm really impressed with this and I think I might use this in this video um, today and this palette has 24 eyeshadows I got the brow case I've used this brow case in my first testing profusion makeup video which I will link in the description box and here and I loved it you know it was really really handy you've got the pencils which I think I've completely used and you've got the um, brow products which are powder products you've got the highlighter which is cream 
and then you've got the brow wax which I was clueless as to how you use a brow wax I use it to the best of my understanding and it still looks fabulous so yeah I definitely swear by this brow product I do have mine which I'll be using in the video but yeah definitely do check this out and the last item in my box is the highlight makeup case which looks like this and then when you open it it comes with a handy little um, highlighter brush which I think is super cute you've got two cream highlighters here and then four um, powder highlighters again I've done swatches they will either be on my Instagram already or I will link it in the blog down below but definitely do check out the swatches so yeah without further ado let's get into the video I'm gonna start off with the Pro Conceal contour palette which is this one i've already primed my face and i use the benefit uh pore professional matte rescue and also the pore professional pro balm which helps minimize the appearance of my pores so i'm gonna go ahead and use the really love this book already the fact that i can fold it i'm gonna use the orange corrector to correct and I'm going to use the flat concealer brush that comes in the um, in the pro case. So I'm going to use that to apply the corrector in my trouble spots. I can see a slight difference but I wish it had a bit more coverage and I wish the orange was a little bit darker but I can still see the difference and it did correct in some places I just wish it had a bit more oomph so that's done I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation and I'm using the Revlon Colorstay foundation in cappuccino I'm going to go ahead and use the brow case to do my brows to fill in my brows I already have a proper demo of testing this product out which I will link in the description box below and also up here is the same testing profusion makeup video that I did so I'm pretty much just gonna rush through this I will show you guys what I'm using but it's it's the same it's the same process to be honest okay Brows are done. So next, I'm going to go into the Naturals palette, and um, it is stunning. And I'm going to be using the brush in some cases. So I think I'm going to go with a warm-ish look. Yes, it does have matte satin and shimmer finishes, so which is brilliant. So I'll be able to mix some of the matte and shimmer, matte and satin finishes in in the look. So the first, the I talk the first color I'm gonna go into is I'm looking at zing so zing that one I'm gonna go into zing which is this color here
everything blended out really really nicely no fallout or anything no kickback which is brilliant next I'm gonna go into this orange shade called fearless which is such a pretty orange shade and I hope that she shows up as well as I think she will and I'm using the same brush I just wiped off the the color and I'm gonna pack um, fearless on so I've only just used an eyeshadow primer I didn't use like a base I might do for the um, for the lid color but the moment I'm just loving the way these shadows are sitting on each other that looks pretty I'm really loving the way that looks I'm gonna go ahead and apply a base for the um, lid color that I'm gonna use so I'm using the revolution makeup um, concealer in 0 0.5 and I'm just gonna apply that to my lid and then pat some eyeshadow on I'm gonna go in with excited it's a gold shimmer shade it looks really really exciting I'm using the brush that comes with the palette. Boom! Stunning. I've got both lids on now. I'm just going to add some depth to the outer V and I'm going to be mixing um, Nightlife which is this black shade and also Outspoken which is like a deep brick uh, brick shade. That's, that's what I'm going to call it. And then just a tad of the black like literally a tiny bit. I just want to deepen out my crease a little bit. Uh, this is the eyeshadow look I'm not too mad at it I really love the crease blend I love the lid color I just had a little bit of a problem with the black but other than that I think it's looking pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and prep the rest of my face so I'm going to use the pro conceal contour book there is a cream sculpt shade in there which doesn't look very dark and I don't think it's going to show up on my skin so I'm not going to go ahead and use that I will however use the contour powder when I come to it but um, actually just out of curiosity I really just want to see what it swatches like so yeah poof. well this is what it swatches like it is quite um, ashy on my skin tone but then again, um, it is ashy. To be honest, when you're contouring, it's supposed to give kind of like an ashy, contourish, like a shadow type of shade. But this is a bit too ashy for me. And I mean, I can go ahead and apply a little bit. Let's um, see. see what that does. Yeah, that is very, very ashy on my face. As you can see, it just looks really really ashy so I'm gonna skip that step and I'm gonna go ahead and apply concealer underneath my eyes instead So there is a concealer in here that I think I can use underneath my eyes which is called Caramel which is this shade. So I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes in places that I would readily um, highlight.
so the concealer coverage is pretty good the consistency is a little bit thick so I would need some sort of face oil to let it move a little bit hence I don't have any face oil hence why I used my pro conceal concealer from um, makeup revolution because it's a little bit wet and so it helps with the movement of the concealer but other than that the coverage is good it's still it's a little bit lighter than I would use normally but I know some people that I use really light concealers but it's just a little bit too light for me but I love the coverage I just wish the consistency was a little bit um, easier to work with it's just really stiff a bit drying so we need a little bit of um, oil added to it that's it really or you mix it with another concealer like I did I'm going to use the Pro Conceal Contour Book again and I'm going to be using the contour powder in there um, to contour my face. So it comes in different shades. As you can see the deepest one is this one which is called Deep Contour. Now to me this isn't very deep. I would have loved to see a deeper shade in here um, as there's light, there's medium, there's medium bronzer and then there's deep contour. It can definitely, definitely, it does have room to improve and room to grow the shade range but nonetheless I am going to try this one which is called deep contour. I'm going to get some of my brush see what it looks like on my face. The contour shade is deep enough for my skin tone and I think it's even deep enough for two um, darker shades than me. I'm going to go ahead and use the medium bronzer to bronze the rest of my face which looks like this. It has a little bit of a warmer tinge to it but I do love this contour shade like I love it. It has a nice kind of like um, shadow to it. So I'm just going to use a bronzer kind of blend everything. The bronzer is a little bit light so it is giving off a cast so I'm not going to use that. No, it's too light. I'm going to use the Pro Face, Pro Face palette and I'm going to use the blush in it and I'm going to use the one called Fancy. It looks like this. It has, a, I think it has a little bit of a highlighter to it um, as it's not a matte blush but it is super pretty and it looks darker in person so I'm just going to apply a little bit first and see what she looks like yeah she does have a bit of shimmer to it so if you love shimmer blushes you will love this one it is very pretty don't know if it's coming off on camera but she is pretty and it's like a soft very soft, beautiful highlight. The bit of color. So I think I'm going to spritz my face, see how far we've come, and then apply my lashes off camera. I'm going to be using the Kiss Lashes, and this is in style, well, I guess their number is not named KLC F05. Grandia does have a name, sorry. And they're very pretty, so I'm going to apply them off camera. My lashes are on, so I'm going to go ahead and use the highlighter case. And I'm going to use the cute little brush that comes in it. And I think I want to go with Dreamy, which kind of looks like the goldish tone and let's see how 
this brush performs, shall we? decent but I'd like um, the coverage to be even so I'd like to use the same brush that will be able to apply as much product as I need at once much better it's a pretty shade blends in beautifully So this is the finished look using majority profusion products I absolutely love doing looks like this this time of year it's my favorite go-to nice gold smoky eye with brown lips and you can't go wrong with dewy glowing gorgeous skin so let me recap with all the products that I used I love the highlight palette I think the highlighter looks really really finished it's not um, chunky it's not glittery it's very smooth it blended into my skin perfectly I have used the cream highlighter before again it's in the first video that I recorded testing out profusion products but I have used cream and used the powder on top on top of an already powdered foundation face so yeah it does work on foundation even powder the cream works beautifully well I have used it before didn't use it in this video because I'd already done it before in my previous video but I absolutely love the pigment of the highlighter the brush is okay if you're traveling but if you do have a better brush I would suggest you use it because it's kind of difficult if you want to get an even finish of your highlighter at once you kind of have to go over and over with a little brush but if you don't mind that that's absolutely fine the highlight case comes with a mirror which again is brilliant then the brows case you guys already know how I feel about this product I think it's a really really good product I use the powder I didn't use the wax this time around and I think it gives it more of a natural looking brow um, the shades in there are dark enough for my dark brow so yeah I absolutely do love this product again it comes with a mirror so I mean it's really good and the case is very very sturdy so yeah absolute must next is the pro face book I didn't actually use the eyeshadows in this palette I'll probably do so either on Instagram or in another video but I absolutely love the fancy um, blush that I used it has more of a, a yeah, shimmer. It does have a bit of a shimmer effect to it but I absolutely love it you can use it as a blush slash highlighter if you're not the type of person to um, to use blush you can definitely use that I haven't tried the eyeshadows on my eyes but I have swatched them from this palette and they look absolutely amazing and the shades in there are really fall autumn inspired type of shades so I definitely will be using this book in future especially the fact that you get eyeshadow products you get eyebrow products you get a highlighter you get a blush I'll definitely be wanting to do a look using this book next is the pro conceal contour book now some elements in this book I loved some not so much so the orange concealer where is it it's okay it can do with being a little bit darker but it did cover some of my imperfections and so for that reason it's all right the caramel um, concealer there I don't know if it's, a, if it's supposed to be a highlighting concealer it doesn't say so it just says caramel honey there's ivory there's light and then the last one is the cream contour it is it does say that yeah sorry cream sculpt so I presume that's for contouring so I use the caramel to highlight and to conceal underneath my eyes it is a bit stiff um, in terms of movement so you would need a facial oil or you need to mix it with a liquid concealer other than that I think it was pretty good it had really good 
coverage i think um it's it's one to be used you can just mix it with something to give a bit more movement but i don't see anything completely wrong with it i will definitely use it in future the deep contour shade which is the powder shade here this one i think it's really really good it did give me that chisel contour effect it gave really good shadow to it it wasn't it isn't red and it doesn't give off kind of like a bronzy look it's more of a contour look the medium bronzer however on the side that can really look ashy on my skin tone i don't think it's dark enough for me but it would be dark enough for somebody else to to bronze with this palette can do with um expansion you can have different variations of this palette because it would be nice to get darker shades in there to get maybe a darker orange conceal corrector maybe darker concealers maybe darker sculpting concealers and deeper contour shades for sure other than that i actually really love the idea of this palette i think it can be really useful for a makeup artist or for someone who who just is on the go or likes to try different highlighters and different concealers this palette is definitely good i just think it can do with a bit more expansion in terms of the shade range um this palette also comes with um a powder highlighter cream highlighter and very very beautiful colors obviously i couldn't use in this video but they are stunning so definitely do check this out you get a lot for your money from this contour kit um next is the naturals eyeshadow palette now this palette i absolutely love i love the shade of the browns i love the way they layered on top of each other i love the orange shade i love the gold shade on my lid it's so beautiful the only shade i had a little bit of difficulty was the black shade it's probably not maybe because it's not as dark as i was kind of thinking it would be so i just had to add on and add on add on to get the desired smoky effect i was looking for but other than that all the other shades work really well they all blended really really well i absolutely love it didn't take me time to come up with this look i definitely think this is worth every penny you get 24 shades you've got mixture of matte satin and shimmer shades so definitely worth checking out now those are all the Pro Fusion products that I used today. I think I pretty much used all of them. At least I used something from all of them. So um, let me know what you guys think. If you've got any questions about any of these products, about any of the of the other Pro Fusion products, do check out my previous video. Um, I did use some other products in that video. So definitely do check it out if you're not subscribed to my channel you know the drill please go ahead and subscribe it does help me out a lot and i would like to talk to you guys and know what's going on with you guys and all that good stuff but yeah i'm gonna stop rambling because i'm thirsty <laughs> and i will catch you guys in a future video do leave me a comment let me know what you guys think of this look what fall or autumn looks are you looking forward to if you're not following me on instagram please go ahead and follow me as i post a lot of makeup looks on my page and it'll be nice to know which of those looks you guys would like me to do a video on or if there's any look you want me to try i am willing and open to give it a go but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you in a future video